we have with us Vivek Raghavan, the technology leader at Team Indus. And Vivek, thank you so much for joining us on Bloomberg Print. Uh, first, tell us about what Team Indus is doing. What is this unique project? Could this be India's first mission to land on the moon? Uh, it certainly is, and uh, and probably more than that. Team Indus is actually a deep tech space engineering company. Right. And uh, uh, I think it's doing. It's it's actually become uh, you know rapidly become a place where uh, you know some of the most advanced uh, engineering work uh, in, in in space is happening in in India and certainly right. in India. And obviously, our, one of our first projects uh, is is this is is the lunar mission. And it, 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 Team Indus has a, is a team uh, registered for the Google Lunar X Prize. And the Google Lunar X Prize is actually a prize for a private enterprise to actually soft land on the moon and have traverse 500 meters on the surface of the moon and send back high definition video uh, back to the Earth. And this is the only company from India? Certainly this is the only company from India. There, are, there were originally about 38 teams doing this and right now there are about 16 teams still in the competition but Team Indus is ranked among the top three in the world uh, and they had won a milestone prize, Team Indus, we won a milestone prize uh, last year uh, recognizing the fact that we're one of the top three teams in the world. But you know also when it comes to this project it's a grand project and teams from around the world have to have something ready by the end of 2017. Uh, hopefully Team India can actually win it but it would cost upwards of 60 million dollars to actually fund this project. How are you guys raising funds for something so unique? So funding for a project of this scale is certainly a challenge. Uh, but we've been lucky to have some strong backers. Uh, for example, Nandan Ilikani has been a backer of this project. Uh, and you know, I think that uh, beyond that, we have a number of other people who are also backing the project. So we feel confident that we'll be able to uh, raise the funds and actually win this competition. I think also it's very interesting, right? Mm -hmm. So many people have uh, come come out here and joined the Team Indus in Bangalore. Very different stories. And I'd imagine that diversity really counts and uh, makes this even more special. Yeah, I, Team Indus is definitely a, a special place. And it's a special place in many different ways. Uh, starting from, you know, I think it's uh, Team Indus has actually become the employer of choice for people who want to do high-tech work. I mean, an example, let's take, uh, if you look at uh, many, uh, starting from, from the youngest people at Team Indus, who are actually, I think, youth is the source of our energy. Uh, you know, I think it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's certainly a place of choice for, uh, for young kids coming out of college. Uh, at the other extreme, there are uh, people who have uh, retired from ISRO who are part of Team Indus to make this, this possible.